Welcome to the Bluecoat Computer Base Training Module, SSL Traffic Management on the Proxy SG. This module describes the various methods provided by the Proxy SG to manage SSL traffic. This module assumes that you have at least some familiarity with the basics of how the Proxy SG Secure Web Gateway Appliance works, as well as the fundamentals of the SSL protocol. When you have finished the SSL traffic management on the Proxy SG course, you will understand how to configure various parameters of the negotiation between the client, such as a browser or other user agent, and the Proxy SG related to an SSL session. The HTTPS console and the HTTPS reverse proxy console are described, and how to configure various parameters of the negotiation between the Proxy SG and other devices, such as security devices or origin content servers. The SSL client and SSL device profiles are discussed. The HTTPS console provides secure access to the management console through the HTTPS protocol. Creating a new HTTPS console port requires three steps. Selecting a key ring. The Proxy SG ships with a default key ring that can be reused with each secure console that you create. You can also create your own key rings. Selecting an IP address and port on the system that the service will use, including virtual IP addresses. You can use any IP version 4 or IPv6 address on the Proxy SG for the HTTPS console service, including virtual IP addresses, and enabling the HTTPS console service. The final step in editing or creating an HTTPS console service is to select a port and enable the service. The HTTPS console service is found under the Configuration, Services, Management Services tab. To enable the HTTPS console, select the Enable option. To change any settings, highlight the service and click Edit. The Keyring drop-down list displays a list of existing keyrings on the system. The system ships with a default keyring that is reusable for each HTTPS service. You can select the SSL TLS protocols to be used in this window. In reverse proxy mode, the Proxy SG is configured to manage incoming traffic. The Bluecoat HTTPS reverse proxy implementation combines hardware-based SSL acceleration with full caching functionality, establishes and services incoming SSL sessions, and provides SSL protocol support. Before creating an HTTP reverse proxy service, you must create or import a keyring, or Create a certificate for internal use and associate it with the keyring. Unlike other services, the Proxy SG does not create an HTTPS reverse proxy service by default. Therefore, you must create a new service. To do this, select Configuration, Services, Proxy Services, and click New Service. Here you can configure proxy settings options. Select HTTPS Reverse Proxy from the Proxy Settings drop-down list. In the Keyring drop-down list, you can select any previously created keyring that is on the system. In the SSL Protocols section, you can select the versions of SSL to use for this service from the list. The SSL Client Profile contains the settings needed to make an SSL connection. This profile can be used by any HTTP or HTTPS proxy service that needs to make an upstream SSL connection. To access the SSL client profiles, go to Configuration, SSL, SSL Client. In this window, you can select the key ring and SSL protocols to be used. In addition, you can specify the CA certificates list. This contains the CAs to be trusted during client and server certificate validation. The defaults are adequate for most situations. The Cypher Suite sets the encryption method for the Proxy SG. The default setting for Cypher Suites is All. You can only modify this setting through the CLI. Here is an example of a CLI session. For more information, refer to the SGOS Administration Guide. An SSL device profile contains the settings needed to make an SSL connection to a remote system. This profile is used when the Proxy SG is an SSL endpoint for non-proxy traffic, such as secure ADN connections, LDAP client, BECA client, and dynamic real-time rating. 
The Proxy SG is pre-configured with three SSL device profiles, each with a specific purpose. The Blue Coat Appliance Certificate, which cannot be edited or deleted, is used for device-to-device -device authentication, allowing Blue Coat devices on a network to identify other Blue Coat devices that can be trusted. The Passive Attack Detection Only Profile, which cannot be edited or deleted, optionally can be used in place of the Blue Coat Appliance Certificate Profile. The Passive Attack Detection Only Profile uses a self-signed certificate and disables the Verify Peer option so that no authentication is done on the endpoints of the connection. The traffic is encrypted but is vulnerable to active attacks. The default profile can be edited but not deleted. Only secured non-proxy traffic uses this profile. Additional profiles with different settings can be created. For example, if you require a different cipher setting than what the default profile uses, you can create a profile with a different cipher sweep. To create device profiles, select the Configuration, SSL, Device Profiles, Profiles tab. Click New if you are creating a new profile, or Edit if you are editing the default profile. In the SSL Protocol version section, you can change the default settings to any other combination of protocols. If the server in question requires a client certificate, you can select the keyring used to negotiate with origin content servers through an encrypted connection. If you want to use different ciphers, click Edit Ciphers on the right-hand side of the pane. Here you can select the ciphers you want to use. Bluecoat recommends that you do not select ciphers with low and export strength. For improved security, select only ciphers with high strength. Thank you for watching. This concludes the SSL traffic management on the ProxySG training. For more information on SSL traffic management related topics, visit the following Bluecoat resources the knowledge base at bto.bluecoat.com and the customer discussion forums available at forums.bluecoat.com. For additional questions or comments regarding this training module, contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.